Well, can y'all hear that wind? I am checking in. The weather has officially changed. It is expected to be... Remember earlier today when, um, when I saw you guys, I was preparing for the weather to change. <clears throat> And now the excuse me the now the weather has officially changed. It is expected to be like 32 tonight, and it was like 70. It was in the 70s earlier, so it's a a really big change um, in temperature on tonight. But I am prepared. Uh, if you can see that little thing right there that I'm pointing to, that's my little homemade fireplace here. I've been running it since though since. Um, I've been using it since the weather changed uh, today, and which happened to be maybe around 1 or 2 o'clock this evening. So I've been uh, using it. It's burning now. I have a, a candle inside. That's my little, you <laughs> see my little stove light on, child. I need to go turn it off so I can conceive. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I have a can one candle in there right now because it got kind of, it was, I mean, it is nice. It really works. I got some uh, rocks on top of it and some uh, candles um, that I'm, I put inside, like a regular candle holder. I just like a regular square a regular square candle and went to the dollar store and got the little thing with the individual candles, the long ones, though. Um, and I just put those uh, in there. And then I put a strainer on top. It's a metal strainer to hold the rocks and collect the heat. And, and it's acting as a little, you know, a little heater. So I, I really appreciate that. God is so good. Um, I still have to figure out about the charging and things like that. So this video can't be too long. I don't want to use all my battery source. Just want to let you know that the weather uh, has changed. And, um, hey, I'm bunkered in. I'm not going anywhere. Remember I told you it was supposed to, uh, that I, I asked, it's like, it was supposed to do all this thunderstorms and all that stuff, and I told you, we're going to rebuke a storm, because Jesus told us to, so I rebuked the storm, I'm trying it, honey, I'm all the way out here on faith, I'm like Peter, done walked out on the water, and everybody like, hey, fool, no, you a fool, I'm following the Lord, <laughs> you better come on with it, I'm not the fool, not the fool at all, but I am out here, if I'm a fool, I'm a fool for Jesus, how about that? How about that? We can all be foolish sometimes, but be a fool for Christ. Yeah. So anyway, um, I ended up, as I was preparing, I cooked all the food that I was going to cook. I made my breakfast and my dinner at the same time. So all I needed to do was heat it up in here uh, once the weather had changed. I still have all my firewood outside um, just in case I, I mean, I don't want to go out and just kind of walk around and things like that. So I'll start being a little campfire. Uh, just so I can, I, I enjoy it. I really enjoy being out here on the land. God said back to nature. So I'm back to nature, man. Um, and I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm excited to see again what God is going to do in my life. Um, maybe we'll go on a walk, uh, and see some other stuff tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you the family, our family cemetery plot for um i mean my, my and the church that my great that my grandfather went to when he was a little boy <laughs> i'll show you that church and i mean you you could tell it's going to date us it's going to date them when you see it cuz that church is it's still and i don't want them to tear it down i pray that no one tears it down and that i come up to rebuild it i want to refurbish it though i don't want to i don't want to tear it down and and put another structure over it nah I want to take it because you. I, I I hope I can go inside. It is just like you would imagine that old church would be. <laughs> you know, just this big with the pews, you know, the row pews and all that. It's just amazing, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'll rebuild it and, and one day preach it in Jesus' name, right? That will be so live. That will be just like God or something for me to be here for such a time as this, right? Either way, we're going to find out what God is doing. Yeah, we're going to find out what he's doing. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope you're weathered in and uh, or you're bunkered in and ready for the weather. Don't forget to keep the homeless in, in your prayers. You know I love doing homeless ministry and things like that. Uh, for this season, you know, uh, I won't be out on the streets of Houston, you know, but we'll find out what, what's the next thing and I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. That ministry won't ever end with me. 
It won't ever end with me doing something to help someone else, you know, get to their next level. Like I'm going to my next level and you're going to your next level. the Holy Ghost. The Lord is here, honey. <laughs> the Holy Spirit in the wind, right? That's that's it right there. That's. Did you hear that? Anyway, I got my cards all set out. I've been playing solitary, honey. You got all this charging. We don't have plugs and stuff. I can't just plug up into no tree. So I have to learn how to you know how to live out here. Everything is shifted. It's like I can barely concentrate. Oh, oh, you know, you can't think about the way things were when things are like it is. <laughs> or they are like it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I, so I'm just trying to, you know, adapt to the transition. The transition has already been made, you know. The transition has already been made. Now we're in a, we, we're here and now, we're, now we have to uh, listen. Now we're here. We're just having, having to adjust, right? So, I mean, listen to me. The cows are out there chilling. They, I'm like, the cow, you're not going to run? It started, you know, it getting cold out there. Where they going to go when it get cold, you know? Well, I'm sure they'll stay around the area that I'm in because there's more trees on this side. So, they'll, what I've learned is that they'll, when it's when it's cold outside and when it's like this, that they'll come where the trees are so they can hide in the trees from the the winds and the rains. So they they're pretty smart. Like I said, when they move, I move just like that. Except they didn't move and I was on the inside trying to figure it out, honey. Lighting candles, you know, getting it together, making sure everything pulling out extra pairs of clothes. I have layers so that as the temperature drops um, I have blankets that I'll just continue to get under. Um, I've covered one window with some uh, paper because it was just a little breeze coming through there. So I took some newspaper and just covered that up so that that extra breeze wouldn't come through here. And um, let's see, uh, the floor, I had a, I, I put a, a cover over the floor so the floors won't be so cold. It kind of helped to insulate everything. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're going to make it through. We're going to make it through this. We're going to make it through this. This is just the first day. This is the first winter. The first day of, uh, oh, excuse me, the winter experience. I'm sorry. I've been up all day. It seems like when I when I get up, I just go, go, go. you just busy, 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 busy. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good way to stay healthy and active. Good way to stay healthy and active. And so when I go to sleep at night, I'll sleep well, too. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, all is well. I'm enjoying the experience. Um, you know, um, it's funny because, I, you know, you, when you know, you don't know. And, you know, you have to learn. You know what I mean? So you, you're that girl now, right? You're that one. Yeah, so I'm that one that's like, um, I have no idea. Oh, did I tell you? Um that I do actually, uh, I, at first I didn't have anything but the candles and the, you know, that was just my, my, my go-to thing. I'm like, I can do this. I'm going to make my little heater out on YouTube and practicing. Right. But, uh, as, 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 as God saw fit, mm -hmm, I have a, a big old propane, uh, unit sitting right outside. It's like 25 gallons. You know, God provided that for me today, so I was at peace before before the weather even changed. Right before the weather changed, this was delivered, you know, and it is full with propane or has enough propane to get me through these uh, these super cold nights. And I'm going to be diligent about it. Um, I'll use it when it's cold enough, you know. I can cook on it because it it'll help the stove uh, to run and all that stuff. Uh, you know the battery does the lights and the the fan on the stove um so with that being said uh i'm i'm good man i have my lights on i the only thing i i just have to figure out is our charging situation i have to go out in this car and charge it so um and it takes a little bit longer but maybe i can 
you know, like drive into town or something and plug up there uh, and sit up there and just maybe have coffee or something like that and just kind of let everything uh, charge up and then come in. <clears throat> Thing is, you'll need it for the night, so we'll figure it out. However, God is going to provide that resource as well. I believe that. And so for now, I have to be uh, diligent about the time that I use. So since I I work from home, my my business is a business. It's, it's like I, I, I work from home, So, but I need the Internet and the computer. So what I have to do is be diligent about my, my time on the Internet and my time with my battery. So it's all it's all it's all it's all part of the process, you know. You have to expect the unexpected, you know, and and expect God to I expect God to help me through it, to give me to order those steps as well. He's ordered the ones that I've already taken to get here, and he'll order the ones that takes me from here to the next thing. So, yeah. But I just want to check in with you guys. I'll talk to you later as I continue my journey. Have a blessed day. Oh, let's pray. Let's pray. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, and yours is the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. Good night.